Hi, I'm Hanbit, and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi, everybody. It's Hanbit here. 안녕하세요, 저 한빛입니다. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing black forest cake. When we say black forest, it is a theme that's used widely in pastry, and it's basically a combination of chocolate and cherries. Black forest can come in various different forms, and this theme can be applied to pretty much anything in pastry. So that would include madeleines, pound cakes, any sort of cakes really. So here, I've applied the theme to a Korean style shortcake. It is an amazing combination of chocolate genoise, chocolate cream, and cherries. I'll first go through the structure of the cake. You'll start by making the chocolate genoise. After making the chocolate genoise, you need the chocolate cream. And I'm going to use two types of cream. First is the chocolate whipped ganache, which is going to be used as the insert cream, which goes inside the cake. And you'll also need the chocolate whipped cream, which is going to be used to ice the cake. And you also need cherries, and I'm going to use canned amarena cherries, which I'm going to place inside the chocolate whipped cream that's going to go between the chocolate genoise layers. Finally, I'm going to place fresh cherries on top. The first step in making a chocolate cake is to make the chocolate genoise. You do need good quality chocolate genoise to make a good chocolate cake. I've already uploaded a very detailed video on how to make the chocolate genoise, so please take a look at that. I haven't included the clips in this tutorial because I felt that this tutorial would become too long. Right, let's make the dark chocolate cream. And to be honest, this chocolate cream should be called whipped ganache because I'm going to make ganache out of heavy cream and covered your chocolate. It's going to taste delicious because the main flavor is going to come from the covered your chocolate and I'm going to use quite a lot of it. If you want to find out more about how to make ganache or understand the concept of ganache, please take a look at my previous video. So taking a look at the ingredients, I've got heavy cream, dark covered your chocolate, cocoa powder, and kirsch. And this kirsch is cherry liquor. And remember, we're making a dark chocolate cherry cake, so using cherry liquor simply makes sense. But if you don't have it, you can leave it out, it's okay. Now, if you think for a moment about how to make this ganache, it's basically mixing the dark covered chocolate with heavy cream. And in order to do so, you need to melt the dark covered chocolate. Plus, you need to heat up the heavy cream. And both of them need to be at around, let's say 50 degrees Celsius, 40 to 50 degrees Celsius would do. And also notice that I've split the heavy cream, the total amount of heavy cream into two. And the purpose of splitting it into two is to speed things up. I'm not going to use all of the heavy cream, heat that up and mix it with melted chocolate because that's going to take a lot of time to cool down. So instead, I'm going to split the heavy cream into two and just use half of it, heat that up, mix it with the dark coverture chocolate, the melted dark coverture chocolate, uh, blend it to make a ganache and then add in the cold heavy cream. That way, you're going to speed things up. So first things first, I'm going to melt the covered chocolate and also heat the heavy cream to around 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. Right, so I've melted the dark covered chocolate and heated up the heavy cream. I'm now going to mix the two. I'm also going to add in the cocoa powder. And now simply blend everything. Perfect, so there's my delicious chocolate cream. I'm going to let this rest in the fridge. Here's my chocolate cream that has completely chilled. As you can see, the texture is a sort of thick. It's not runny like heavy cream. And yes, that's because this is a ganache. It's a type of ganache. You have to be very, very careful when dealing with whipped ganache because it becomes really thick and just stiffens up in a matter of seconds. You really have to watch it. Great, so that's the thickness that I'm looking for for my insert cream. Right, now I'm going to whip the icing cream. And this icing cream will be used to ice the cake, which means that you're going to use it on the outer layer of the cake. And so the texture of this cream needs to be soft and smooth. The ingredients are very simple. This is a chocolate whipped cream. So I've got heavy cream here, sugar and cocoa powder. That's it really. Sugar goes in. This is sifted cocoa powder. Simply whip it to the right consistency. Just 
just scrape the bowl once in a while. By the way, I'm using ice water bath here because you want your heavy cream to be chilled and you want to whip it in a chilled state. Right, that's the consistency that I'm looking for. The icing cream should be smooth and shiny, and yet you should be able to form a peak like that. Now, the syrup. This cherry syrup is a mixture of the cherry syrup from the canned amaranth cherries, as well as a bit of water and Kirsch liquor. The syrup is delicious. And do apply all the syrup to your genoise because you want to keep the genoise moist. Just be careful not to brush off the crumbs when you're applying the syrup. So my advice is to just tap tap. Now let's assemble the cake. Make sure you place your chocolate genoashi right at the center of your turntable or else it'll make your life difficult. I'm going to place roughly a quarter or slightly less than a quarter of the cream that you have. Spread it across. and place canned amaranth cherries. And these are canned amaranth cherries that are super delicious. I've chopped the cherries into smaller pieces. Let's say a quarter. Now place another quarter of the cream that you have and cover it up. Place the next sheet of chocolate genoise, the next quarter. Place the next batch of canned amaranth cherries in syrup. Perfect. Now place the last quarter. I'm just going to save a bit of the cream, which I'm going to use later. Now, I'm going to smooth the side. When you're smoothing the side, you want your spatula to stay at nine o'clock. So nine o'clock meaning that you're looking at this as a clock. And from my point of view, it's 12, three, six, and nine. So I'm going to place my spatula at nine o'clock and just turn the turntable. And remember, we saved up a bit of cream and that's what I'm going to use to fill up the gaps right here. Right, I'm going to start icing the cake. I'm going to work on the top, the side, and then the top. First, place around half to about two thirds of the icy cream on top to start with. Now the side. You want your spatula to stand upright and plus, you want to ice it with your spatula at 9 o'clock. There we go. Now I'm going to do the final decoration. Now the final decoration, this is a black forest cake, which means you need chocolate as well as cherries. I've got fresh cherries here, so I'm going to place them on top as well as piping the chocolate cream.
complete and now it's time to try it. Wow! Soft chocolate genoise with chocolate cream and cherries. Mm. This is delicious. The combination of deep chocolate flavor and cherries, it just explodes in your mouth. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on Hamba's version of the Black Forest Cake. Just look at this. It looks delicious and obviously it is delicious because it's a combination of chocolate and cherries. Plus, it's in the style of a Korean shortcake, so the overall texture is rather on the lighter side than the heavier side, which I like. So please give it a go, and I'll see you next time with another amazing recipe. Thank you very much. Come time back.